Hey guys, in this video, I am gonna show you how to use proc dataset to do the vertical join. So, in this for this video, I have already written the data step to create the four dataset, and we will be using this four dataset to do our vertical joins. So let's start with uh, creating the data sets. I will select all and then run. So this I have four different data set. So I will tell you what is different from each other. So this one has ID and name and this data set has duplicates within them you see here there is steve and again there is another steve and this one has an extra variable if you compare above two data set with this data set you have uh, age an additional variable and finally this has the same type of uh, variable but the variable name is different now let's see how to join this different uh, types of data sets so let us start with a very simple and straightforward procedure uh, which is proc data set and first you have to write append and then base is the base data set here i am just mentioning as m1 and i am i am trying to join vertically the data one and data two. So if you see my data step here, it will give me the output as I copy this over here and let me copy this again. So this will be my output if uh, uh, if I run the this first block and uh, I'm just testing out whether I can do two joins at a time. So that's why I have written this second third line which has M2 and data3. So it will just create a copy of this data set to M2. So let's check it out. So this is very basic step so you don't get into any errors. So if you see here I have created M1 and M2 m2 will have uh, all the data in d3 that's why we can see only two uh, rows you see in d3 it will have the same two rows now let's check out the m1 so this is the m1 and this is what we have expected and it's same so let's move on to the next one uh, which is the sql alternative for SQL, what you will do is we just need to use the uh, union statement. First, I will select all the all the observation from the data one. That's D one, and I will use the union corresponding all. So here, the all means I am saying that uh, include the duplicates as well. That's what it means. Corresponding refers to um, the first data set has a variable ID and name the second data data set should also have the same variable okay let's run this so fair enough the output are very similar so we can uh, this this is a very basic form of a vertical join now I am running the same procedure as above without all. So you see here I have uh, uh, duplicates which is the John and the Steve uh, duplicate here. So I like to not to have the duplicate value so I will just uh, this is a very similar query but only without all. Let me run this. So if you see that we don't have the duplicates now it's removed we have six here uh, john and steve have been removed in the output so if you want to do the same in a proc data set you can 
you have to use proc sort after the data set is created that's the only way you can do but i have read that uh, for spds you have some option to um, remove the duplicates but i'm not sure how to do for the normal basis data set using the proc data set procedure and now this is the confusing uh, little confusing concept i mean if you are a beginner so if you see here the data 1 and data 3 which has different number of um, variables data 1 has only id and name but data 3 has id name and age so i would like to join this two data data sets so the so for that i need to use the force option but even if i use force option you will check the output that it won't be like what we expect so anyone would expect to have the another variable right uh, so to do that you need to have the you need to mention the data set which has more variable in the base so in our case d3 has uh, three variables and i wanted this age to be in my output so you need to keep that in your base and data d1 as a uh, appending data sets so if we run this uh, our data set will be in d3 now i will show you d3 before moving on d3 it has only uh, two observations if i run this i should be seeing four and it should also have the so no errors it, it will give this warning variable age was not found on data file was not found on data file yeah that's correct uh this is the base this is the data the age was not found on uh, data file so it's a correct thing if you see that this is what we would expect and it came and the same thing in sql it's very simple you need to uh, add outer so if i run this i will i will just remove this statement it will directly give me in the output if i run this one i will be having uh, the same i will get my expected output okay it throws some error let's check for that i guess the problem will be with uh, the all let me try removing this so uh, that's the problem so here if you check without all it has given us um, with uh, with duplicates yes but the output is similar to what we have expected from the proc data set so moving on to the next topic which is vertical join different variable so here if you see we had uh, although we had extra variable here we had the same variable name but in this case we have different variable names the both of the variable name are different so let's see what happens if i run this it showed error again the error is at least one column name must match when corresponding is present so what it means is the column name should be same but that's that's what corresponding does so we can just remove this corresponding 
and try running it again so it it's just gave us the output which we needed as gary and donald are in data four with which has different column name so if you uh, review it we will find that proc sql is simpler and straight, straight forward when compared to proc data set and the problem with um, other procedures are uh, you have uh, so many procedures to do the same task you can also use proc append you can use data step with a set statement uh, to get the same output what we did using a proc data set and with append option so post your questions if you have any in the comment section Thanks for watching this video.